Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be talking about applications of systems of equations. In the first couple of examples, we're just going to try to match the system uh, with the story problem and not necessarily solve it. Let's look at the first one here. It says variable x represents the number of red bricks Layla bought, and the variable y represents the number of gray bricks she bought. Layla bought 301 red and gray bricks for a landscape project. She bought six times as many gray bricks as red bricks. How many of each type of brick did she buy? Which system equation models the problem? So it's always good to identify your variables. So they do so in the problem here. X is the number of red bricks. And gray, y is the number of gray bricks. Now if we add those together, they sum to 301. Just like they say in the problem, 301 combined. And for the number of gray bricks, there are 15, six times as many. So think about this. The gray is equal to the red, but six times the red, like that. And we can find this system here. Letter D matches it perfectly. Now go about solving it. You can solve it if you need to. Substitution might work best where we plug 6x, 6x in for y. We could also use Desmos. Let's look at another example here where we're just identifying the system. A birch tree that is four foot tall grows at a rate of one foot per year. A large tree that is six foot tall grows at a rate of 0.5 feet per year. Let the variable t represent time in years, the variable h represent height in feet, and how many years will the trees be the same height? Which system of equations can be used to solve the problem? Well, going back to slope intercept form of a line, mx plus b, and given the structure here of these examples, what they do is they switch around the B and the MX. Now, let's identify these variables. They don't use Y, they use H for height. They don't use T, they use, they don't use X, they use a T for time. Now, the B is in math terms the y-intercept. However, in this situation it's the starting height of the tree. And uh, the m is the slope of the line in math terms, but in terms of this it's the rate at which the tree grows. So the birch tree, set up that system, or that equation, starts out at four foot and it grows one foot per year. 1 times t, 1 times t the number of years. And then there's the large tree, starts out at 6 foot, and it grows at a rate of a half a foot a year, 0.5 feet per year. So 0.5 times t. And the system that seems to match that is letter A. Now go to go about solving that, they're asking when does h equal h when the heights of two of both trees equal each other. So the 4 plus 1t, set that equal to the 6 plus 0.5t. You can use Desmos, you can uh, solve it by substitution, whatever works. But we're just identifying the system here. Now in this next one we're actually going to set up the system and then we will solve it. It says Francesca has 63 centimeters of ribbon. She'll cut it into two pieces so that the longer piece is 15 centimeters longer than the shorter piece. What will the length of the longer piece be? All right, let's have X be the shorter piece. Let's have Y be the longer piece. Together, if you take the short and the long, it makes the full 63 inches or centimeters of ribbon. They do say the longer piece, y, is 15 centimeters more than the shorter piece. y equals 15 plus x. All right, so there's our system. We can solve this using substitution. We can take this quantity 15 plus x, and we can substitute it in for y up here. Then we can take and rewrite that first equation. So we have x plus y equals 63. And this is where y was, but we're not going to use y. We're going to use the 15 plus x. Now 
and then we can add the two x's together and get 2x. We can subtract away the 15 from both sides. Sixty-three minus fifteen, forty-eight, and then divide by two. X equals twenty-four. Now that's the shorter piece. We want to know the length of the longer piece. We just need to re-substitute in this twenty-four right here, and we'll do that work right here y, the longer piece, is equal to 15 plus 24. Comes out to be 39 centimeters. The longer piece is 39, shorter piece is 24. They both add up to 63. Now this next one has to do with money. Sang Jin has only quarters and nickels in her piggy bank. She has 66 coins in the bank with a value of $11.50. How many quarters are in Sang Jin's pink piggy bank? So let's identify some variables here. Let's have Q for number of quarters. Let's abbreviate quarters here. And N will be the number of nickels. Together, if you add Q plus N, they're going to add up to 66. So that's one equation talking about the number of nickels. Make another equation, but this time it's going to be talking about the money, the value, 1150. Now isn't it true a quarter's worth 25 cents, 0.25 of a dollar? Nickels worth 5 cents or 0.05 of a dollar? And I'm going to use the linear combination method to solve this. Right now, everything's lined up. The Q's, the N's, equal signs, numbers. However, I want the N's to cancel out because we're trying to solve for Q quarters to answer the question, how many quarters? What cancels with a positive 0.05 is a negative 0.05. I need to turn the top equation. I need to make that have a negative 0.05 N. And uh, we can do that by multiplying everything in the top equation by a negative 0.05. And look what we get. Negative 0.05Q minus 0.05N is equal to 66. If I take 66 times a negative 0.05, I get negative 3.3. We a positive 0.25Q, just rewriting that second equation of the positive 0.05N, and we have the 11.5. Now we're going to add these two equations together. Just add negative 0.05. Positive 0.25 makes positive 0.2Q. Ends cancel out, and I'm left with 8.2 here. I now have one equation, one variable. I'll divide both sides by 0.2. 8.2 divided by 0.2. Q is 41 quarters. If we needed to solve for n, we certainly could do that. But we're just asking for how many quarters Seng Jin has. All right, and this last one has to do with mixtures. Now, there's several ways to do mixtures. Uh, you can set up a table, uh, but this, the structure of this one warrants something a little bit different. Um, let's just kind of let's look at a couple scenarios here where we have pitcher of lemon juice. This is, Sean wants to make a mixture that is 50% lemon juice, 50% lime juice. How much of 100% lemon juice should he add to the juice mixture that is 30% lemon and 70% lime to make seven gallons of the 50-50 mixture? All right, so we kind of have a before and after scenario here. All right, what we want at the end is we want a 50-50 mixture here, 50% lemon 
50% line. Right now that's not the case and at the end it'll be seven gallons total. And right away if we think okay I have seven gallons total 50% lemon 50% lime doesn't it make sense that each of those are 3.5 gallons. 3.5 gallons of lemon juice, 3.5 gallons of lime juice. But starting out there was 70% lime and only 30% lemon. All right, and we don't know how much we started with. However, we're not going to change the amount of lime. So there's 3.5 gallons of lime at the end, and to start out there was 3.5 gallons um, of lime to begin with. We're just going to be adding that. So I guess the question now is we don't know what the original amount was here, but we know this, 3.5 gallons of the lime, that equaled 0.7 of the whatever lime was there. All right, so that this, you know, 3.5 gallons of lime was 70% of what total mixture? Okay, so we can solve this by dividing both sides by 7, 0.7 and we get y equals 5. This tells us this total mixture. I made up, I said y here is going to be the total mixture. We got 5 right here. 5 gallons total of this whole mixture, lemon and lime. 70% lime, 30% lemon. All right, and then the question is, well, how much should we add? All right, well, let's add, make up a, another equation here. x is the amount of lemon we add, y being the total amount here. Uh, we want both of those, the y being of the lime, we want that to add up to 7. And we know y is going to be 5, so we simply have this. x plus 5 equals 7. x telling us the amount of lemons, that per 100% lemon, that we need to add is 2. We need to add 2 gallons of the lim pure lemon juice to this mixture here, and that will give us this equal 50-50 split. All right, thank you for watching. Hope this helped with understanding solving systems and applications of systems.